Back with our next segment, which we're going to be talking about a feature of Business Central, and it's a very popular feature. A lot of people will always want to know how to build custom reports uh, in Business Central. And our go-to is usually to tell them to and show them how to use Power BI integrated with Business Central. Uh, there's a lot of other options out there. Jet Reports comes to mind. Um, anything else off the top of your head? Well, you can just build a, build a custom report right yeah. within Business Central using an extension. Right. So just take a, like if you want to modify, let's say uh, like a sales, just a sales analysis report mm -hmm. to look analyze your sales by salesperson or something. Um, you could just build a custom report, um, but that you need a developer yeah. to do that using Visual Studio Code and you're deploying an extension. Right, now building the customer report with Business Central and Power BI, you're basically using the assisted setup feature and it's walking you through and whatnot, right? Yeah, so so you know the, the question is, okay, so I, I wanna analyze my sales data. Uh, you know, I wanna maybe look at it by salesperson, I wanna maybe look at it by territory or dimension, whatever. Um, so yeah, Power BI, as you know, as you know, Michael and others here, that business uh, Power BI is is integrated within Business Central. Mm -hmm. So right within your Business Central pages, you see Power BI graphs right. and reports. Um, and there is a there is a a page you can use your search within Business Central, and you can open up a page called Web Services. And the Web Services page lists a bunch probably, I don't know, 50 to 100 different pages and queries that are in here that are, are basically ways that you can pull the data from Business Central. And so a lot of these are, are already existing due to existing Power BI reports right. that, they, that Microsoft has created. Um, but you can use the assisted setup to build your own web service. Nice. So let's say, let's go through, we'll walk through here for the purpose of this pop podcast, a, a little example. So let's say that um, you want to look at your sales by customer okay. and by date and by salesperson. So we would decide that the best approach for that would be to use customer ledger entries. And let's say, okay, well... I don't see a web service for customer ledger entries out there, so we need to build a new one. So you can go into assisted setup, and there's, a, there's an assisted setup out there, and it is called set up reporting data, which is kind of an odd name, but okay. um, you know, I get it. Okay, so we're gonna set up reporting data. So I'm gonna click on that link, uh, and say yes, I want to run this and it opens a little wizard and it walks you through some steps And what we're actually building here is a data set for Power BI. Okay, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna click next I want to I can either create a new data set I can create a copy of an existing data set or I can edit an existing one that I've already created uh, so I can just create a new one and then I give it a new name, customer ledger entries maybe, whatever I want to call it. Uh, my, my source is going to be a page, uh, or it could be a query. So okay. what the difference between a page and a query, a page is one table of data, right? It's customers, it's ledger entries, it's, it's whatever. It's one table of data. Okay. A query is a type of object that can exist within Business Central that pre-links and joins multiple tables together to kind of create a flattened data set. So the query kind of can take some of the work out of building a report for you ahead of time. But you, you typically would need a developer to build a query. Okay, so most so likely you're gonna go with page. Then we're gonna go with page usually, right? Okay. So we'll pick page, and then there's a table source ID, or data source ID. This gives you the list of every table in the Business Central database. And there's a little search box up at the top, and I can type in part of my name, uh, customer ledger entry or whatever, right? Um, and I'll, it'll kind of narrow down that view. 
so I can find uh, what I'm looking for. So for example, customer ledger entries is page 25. Okay. So I'm gonna click on there, I'm gonna say okay, and then I'm gonna click next. The next field is it gives me a list. It says what fields do you wanna include from the customer ledger entry table in your data set? And, and some of them are pre-checked for me. I can go in, I can check or uncheck different fields determined based on what I want to add in here. Now what's also cool is there's a button on the field list called Add Filters. So in the example here where we want to look at sales for customer ledger entries, there are two types of customer ledger entries. There's invoices and yep. then there's payments. Okay. There's also credit memos, a couple other right. ones. We only want to look at invoices and credit memos. So I'm going to click Add Filters and I get a list of a bunch of fields, any field really, that I can filter my data on. So I'm gonna pick document types, invoice and credit memo. And then I'm going to hit publish. Okay. Publish is going to create that web service and it's gonna create an, an OData URL. That's that address that I'm gonna to connect to from within Power BI. So that's what's used then to pull in your, right. your information? That's, that's how I connect to my business central okay. data. That's what allows it to read. Right? So that's kind of step one. Now step two is, I'm gonna use the Power BI desktop. Mm -hmm. So there's, Power BI is a web-based app, right? You can run it on any device. Mm -hmm. But there is a tool called the Power BI desktop that you install, and we would recommend that you use this if you're building reports. Uh, it's much more feature-rich than, right. than using the online report writer. Right. Right, so anyone can download and set up and use the Power BI desktop for free. Yep, can have a free account. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm in the Power BI desktop, I'm gonna click on Get Data. And in the Get Data page, I see a list of all these different types of databases and files and ways that I can, things I can use as my data source. Up on the very top box, I'm just gonna type in Business Central. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see on the results, I'm just going to click on Dynamics 365 Business Central and click on Connect. It's going to authenticate me and make sure that I have a valid connection. And then it's going to pull up a list of my environments. So in my environment, I have a production environment and I have a sandbox environment. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this out of my production environment. So I'm going to click on Production. Then under there, I see a list of my companies in my business central environment. I'm gonna click on my Cronus USA company. And then I see a list of all of my web services. All those pages that I published as web services are there. So the and, same ones from business central are there, huh? Right. Nice. And there's my new one that I just created, and I know you can't see this right now through the podcast, but. We'll have a video though, which shows. Yeah, we're exactly gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna, take a video of this exact exercise we're walking through yep. and we'll put it up on the podcast site Definitely. Uh, afterwards in case you want to actually watch this uh, in action. Okay, so what it does then is it's actually going to build my data set in Power BI and pull in all my fields. Wow. So now I can just drag, you know, I want customer number, I want my amount, I want my uh, a date filter here, right? I can add all those different pieces of information. I want salesperson code, right? All these things are, are on here. Um, so I'm now now built started building my report. I can save my report. I can publish my report. Um, Change the visualizations. Right. I can create a, 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 a right a data grid. I can do a map view, bar charts, yep. all different kinds of visualizations. Right. Very simple. And if I add more um, charts, they are all automatically integrated. So here's an so kind of advanced part two. <laughs> Let's say that I want to, I don't want to just see the salesperson code. I want to see their the salesperson name. Okay. Well, the salesperson name field is not on the customer ledger entry. So what I need to do is I need to create another new web service or data set in Business Central for my salesperson table. Okay. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to publish that, pull that into this data set and link those two tables together. 
uh, then you'll be able to have. And there's a button on top called um, where you can hit model and you can connect your fields together. And then now I can pull my salesperson's name in. So you actually can build reports that are utilizing multiple tables. Right. And you're able to define what those relationships are between the tables right within Power BI. And you can literally build a report, what, 10 minutes, I guess, if, if that? <laughs> Once you do it the first under time? there, yeah. It's pretty amazing. We'll see how long, however long my video is yeah. uh, that I publish. I mean, I'm going to add a bunch of different, I'll add a bunch of different visualizations yeah. and, and some filters, and I'll go through those steps of adding the second uh, web service and stuff into but there. Very simple, very, very powerful. And then from there, I don't know if you want to talk about it, you can actually publish it to your uh, Power BI in the cloud then, your, with your Office 365. Correct. And if you have Power BI Pro, you can share it to other people and let them see your report and, and That's you know, right. have a little bit more control over it that, that way. Yep, Very. yeah, the Power BI Pro is more useful for sharing. It adds more security because mm -hmm. uh, you can share with people under your same domain name. Right. Right, so it adds some security there. Um, but yeah, this is, I mean, you know, it's really, really quick and easy to do. Again, touching, going back to our last segment, you, there are Microsoft Learn videos out there also that, that talk about all these, the, this whole process of creating that data set, using the assisted setup, and then using Power BI to create reports. Very nice. Very, very nice. Well, there you have it. A report created by Ken within five to ten minutes. Uh, like he said, we're going to have a video for you in the show notes, so stay tuned for that. Next, we're going to talk about the uh, Clever Global Search app that we found in AppSource. So, stay tuned. All right, thank you. Thank you.